Once a week, Diana Megor from Cambridge, Ontario, empties the observation tanks of the Brazilian Institute of Amazonian Research and gives the occupants a checkup. These two young manatees were brought to the Institute as orphans. Nursed back to health by Diana, they're part of a scientific study aimed at ensuring the survival of their species. The manatee once existed in enormous herds throughout the Amazon River Basin. But after years of commercial hunting, they become an endangered species. and are now protected by law. Concerned with the decline of the manatee, the government of Brazil invited Diana, a marine biologist, to help initiate a survey of the status and distribution of the manatee in the central Amazon region. In order to learn more about past and present abundance, natural habitat, food preferences, breeding areas, Diana makes regular trips throughout the region to interview ex-hunters. The manatee often exceed three meters in length and a weight of 400 kilograms. Native hunters have stalked it for centuries for its meat, oil, and hides. Primarily a nocturnal feeder, it is strictly herbivorous, consuming enormous quantities of submerged and floating vegetation. Part of the Institute's program is to evaluate sites suitable for the establishment of wilderness sanctuaries for the manatee. The manatee were once mistaken by ancient mariners as mermaids, mythical creatures who were thought to be part woman, part fish. Today, we recognize those tales as myth, as scientists like Diana Magor and her associates at the Institute concern themselves with ensuring that the Amazon manatee itself does not become legend. <laughs> 